Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to take a look at the 2011 American horror film called 247 Degrees Fahrenheit. The movie starts with a couple named Jenna and Jamie driving away in a car to their honeymoon. They are discussing their marriage ceremony. We then see a post-accident scene of them. Their car has been wrecked and Jenna is still alive. There's blood everywhere and she screams for her husband. We skip to three years ahead. Jenna is on a beach taking pictures of the seashore with her friend named Renee. Jenna shows her some of the pictures. Renee then introduces Jenna to a friend, Ian. They shake hands when Renee's boyfriend named Michael urges all of them to get on Ian's boat. They are taking the boat to a lakeside cabin that belongs to Ian's uncle. He invited them all to spend the weekend at the cabin. Michael asks permission to drive the boat. Ian then hands him the steering wheel. Michael, being irresponsible, drives the boat recklessly to annoy his girlfriend. The group reaches the cabin and they get off the boat. They have to participate in the celebration of May Day marked at the start of summer. Ian then introduces them all to his uncle Wade and they exchange pleasantries. Wade's dog, named Boo, comes running and starts to lick Jenna's hand. Wade gives him a shot of whiskey and Jenna politely refuses to drink and enters the cabin. She opens her bag and takes out a pouch. She heads to the washroom and takes out a bottle of pills from her pouch. She then decides to night take her pills. Meanwhile, Wade says goodbye to them and leaves with Boo in his truck. The rest of the group then enters the house and Jenna comes down the stairs. Ian takes the couch and assigns the two bedrooms to Jenna and the couple. Renee and Michael head up the stairs to their bedroom and Ian puts on some music. He then offers her a beer. At night, the friends are accompanied by Wei and are sitting by the dining table, eating dinner. They exchange stories about their careers. Afterwards, Jenna is standing on the porch when he sees Boo nearby. She starts to pet the dog, and Renee comes outside and asks Jenna if she is enjoying her time at the cabin. As they are talking, Wade appears and asks them to join the party tonight and reminds them to bring their invitation cards as well. Wade then leaves and the girls go back inside. Michael emerges from the washroom and tells them about the sauna inside the house. He asks everybody if they would like to join him there. Ian agrees and that both the boys start to change into their underwear. Renee asks Jenna if she is comfortable with doing this, and Jenna assures her it's okay and decides to join them in 10 minutes. Next, we see Jenna holding her pills in her hand while the boys are in the sauna taking a steam bath and drinking beer. Jenna removes her wedding ring, which she wears around her neck, and places it inside a drawer alongside her pills. She decides to change and join her friends in the bath. She picks up two water bottles and heads for the sauna. Ian welcomes her inside the room. The group continues to chit-chat and Renee asks for a bottle of water. There are hot rocks placed in the sauna and Ian gets up and throws some water on the rocks to create steam. After a while, Ian noticed that nobody is really enjoying the bath, so he suggests if they want to go out and swim in the lake. They go out and jump into the lake and enjoy the cold water. Afterwards, they come back inside. The boys drink one shot of whiskey and join the girls in the bath again. Next, we see Wade driving his truck. He picks up a shovel and takes Boo with him. Meanwhile, the group is enjoying the lake and the sauna back and forth. Ian picks up some of the herbal fragrances to add the smell to the steam. Outside the sauna, Michael is drunk and tries to kiss Renee while she just wants to enjoy the steam bath. They have a little argument and Renee leaves him outside. Michael then goes to the washroom. While inside the sauna, Renee is tired of Michael's weird behavior and starts to argue with Ian when he takes Michael's side. As they are having dispute, there's a loud banging noise outside and they all think it's Michael just being drunk. Ian gets up to bring Michael inside and opens the door a bit, but Renee stops him. He closes the door behind him. Renee then wants to leave the house and goes to the party. She tries to open the door, but it wouldn't budge. Ian puts all his effort into opening the door, but it doesn't work. Jenna starts to lose her mind, and Renee asks if she's taken her pill today. Then, Ian starts banging his shoulder repeatedly into the door in hopes of breaking it down, but it's all in vain. Renee starts to knock on the door and thinks that Michael is playing a sick joke on them by trapping them inside. All of them start losing their temper and blaming Michael. Jenna is having a panic attack and looks around the room. Ian suggests that they should all remain calm and just find a way out. He thinks that Michael is probably stoned and Wade isn't going to come back to the house anytime soon as he's going to be enjoying the party. Ian gets up and sees through the door's window and tells them that something is blocking the door. We then see Wade meeting up with a man and walking up a hill. Meanwhile, Ian and the girls are debating about what to do while being stuck inside. Ian warns them about the heat stroke and to drink as much water as they can to avoid dehydration as well. Jenna gets up to see the thermostat placed on the wall. Renee suggests that they should break the thermostat to stop the room from heating up. Ian educates her that the only thing stopping the room from getting too hot is the thermostat because it maintains a steady temperature and turns off the heater when needed. Also, they shouldn't mess with the heater as it is gas and the last thing Ian wants to do is to be inhaling gas. 
Renee takes a ladle and tries to break the window, but it's too strong. Ian then picks up a towel and a ladle to break out one of the rocks from the heater. He then uses the water to pour in a bucket and cool off the rock. He grabs the rock in his hand and starts to break the window. After a lot of effort, he finally manages to shatter the glass. Cool air starts to rush inside and they all gasp for fresh air and shout out for Michael, but he is nowhere to be found. In the next scene, we see a part of the ladder is wedged in front of the door, blocking the exit. The group then discusses their next strategy to get out when Ian divulges that, as the cool air is coming inside, the heater will never turn itself off. He then tries to tie the rock to the towel and hangs it outside the hole. He attempts to move the ladder by getting the rock to tangle with it, but he fails. He sits down after getting tired and uses the towel to wrap his wounded hand. Renee insists on breaking the thermostat and hopes that it will shut down the heater, but Jenna stops her and believes that Ian is right about the thermostat. Ian looks around the room and his eyes are set upon the electrical lamps. He thinks that if he can short circuit the lamp, it could possibly turn off the heater as well. He grabs the ladle and jams the lamp socket with a towel. As soon as he jams it, there's a spark. The lights turn off and he burns his hand off. He falls to the ground and Jenna wraps his hand in a towel. The heater is still burning and now they are left in the dark. Next, we see a brief scene of Wade and the man unwrapping a box of fireworks. Meanwhile, at the cabin, all three of them are starting to feel dizzy and dehydrated. Jenna and Renee reminisce about their old college days when they got matching bracelets. After a moment, Ian hears the dog barking outside. They all start to shout, asking for help from him. The dog senses something is wrong. Wade and his friends put on their headlights and set up the fireworks. Michael appears and finds the dog barking outside the house. But because of the fireworks, he couldn't hear his cries for help coming down the sauna. The dog rocks back to his owner and doesn't stop barking. Wade is confused as to what happened to him. Boo gets on the truck and leads Wade back to the cabin. As they reach back, Wade meets Michael outside. He tells Wade that his friends have left him sleeping on the couch and have gone to the party. We see a flashback of Michael getting on the couch and the noise of Boo barking. He looks around but doesn't find anyone there. Michael even tries to get into the party to check for his friends but when security doesn't let him inside as he doesn't have his invitation card with him. Wade then invites Michael to his house to hang out instead. Meanwhile at the cabin, Ian has been pretty bad shape and coughing constantly. They run out of water to drink as well. Ian and Jenna drink what's left of the water in the bucket. Renee gets tired of waiting so she grabs the rock and decides to smash the thermostat. Jenna stops her and accidentally hits her in the head with the same stone. She falls down unconsciously and starts bleeding and Jenna is horrified by what she's done. Meanwhile at Jade's house, Michael and him are smoking weed and getting high. At the sauna, Jenna loses her mind over the accident and impulsively breaks the thermostat with the rock. The heater then starts to give off more heat than before. Michael smokes one last joint and decides to head back to the cabin. While at the cabin, Ian is laughing like a maniac and grabs the heater with both his hands. He burns off his skin but manages to get the heater off from the ground. Jenna yells for him to stop and the heater breaks off and the gas starts to leak. After a brief second, there's an explosion and the door opens wide with a bang. There's a loud ringing noise as Jenna gets out of the sauna and looks behind to find Ian's lifeless body all covered in blood. She gets to the refrigerator and drinks a bottle of cold water and pours it over her body. She then runs to her room and cries on the bed while Renee is calling for her name. Then we see Jenna back inside the sauna as Renee is continuously calling her. It's shown that Jenna is hallucinating and Ian is dead beside her. Renee is conscious again and the gas from the heater is making it difficult for them to breathe. Jenna then holds Renee from her back and lifts her to the window to get her some fresh air. Meanwhile, Michael returns back to the cabin. He calls for his friends, but he still finds nobody. He takes a bottle of beer from the refrigerator and drinks it. Inside the sauna, Jenna grabs the towel and hangs it from the ceiling. She then wraps the towel around Renee's arms to help her stand in front of the window hole. Michael looks around the house for his friends and starts to smoke weed again. Jenna holds the towel in her hand and removes the rocks from the heater and successfully manages to plug the gas valve with a broken wooden piece. Meanwhile, Michael is stoned on the sofa and we see a flashback of him leaving the sauna and accidentally placing the ladder in front of the door, which then ends up blocking the doorway. In the next scene, we see Wade returning to the sauna and finding out the tragedy that happened there. He calls the police and an ambulance. Michael is sitting on the floor, crying and blaming himself. The movie ends with the girls on their way to the hospital in an ambulance. <sighs> Michael, you're a dumbass. Anyways, thanks for watching guys.